hey, hey, my name is Paul Schlinks, and welcome to Raising Angels Fates Allegiance. Let's see what's going on with Faye. Wow! Ah! My poor tail, why did they have to throw me on my tail? Are you okay, Faye? If you cared about friends, you wouldn't throw them into a prison, bitch! Huh? What was that? A soft hum falls on my ear, but I don't understand where it will be coming from. There's nobody playing music, but I know I hear something. Is the lack of sleep driving me crazy? Friends, friends, are you all are in my face! You'll never be my friends! Kylie, I thought that you could always tell me what's wrong. Hey, you did? We are talking about just a few weeks ago. You told me how about how scared you were, about how the hearing was going to go, and how you felt alone. But you're not alone. For a moment, I think I've gotten back through her to her. She seems in shock at what she had said was the most important thing anyone had done for the kids. She even gave me a hug. Maybe we never were friends. Maybe well, none of them are my friends. Friends would have focused solely on finding my father, not on their own selfish needs. Drums. I can hear them pounding a dark truth into my head. I've always thought that we were close, but has anyone ever said it? What does matter, Faye? You weren't strong enough to help me. None of you are. Damn it, Claire. You think of your duty instead of yourself for once. What do you think of your duty for once? Excuse me. I've given everything I for the crew and the mission. I part that and try to serve so have a little piece of home in the meals. What? Why do I have a bad feeling about this? But you did so with the guy. You have to own up to that, Kali. You all don't care, you just wanted more and more and more and gave everything you asked for me. Well, for and then some. Ah. Well, this would be problematic. This really would be problematic. But when I needed you all to give back a little, everyone turned their backs on me and let me to take all of the blame. Because it's your fault, I was a ringy Colin Nelson black like me by training Commander Hockett. To be quiet about it and you didn't see anything wrong. Yeah, that is a failure on us to train you properly, but you had to have realized that it ran completely against your training. Yeah. Nobody is, listen nobody is listening to each other. Both sides are now screaming at each other, and I can understand what why are trying to get to a cross. Words blend together into ear. Shattering oneness. Every fiber of my body feels like it is on fire, and now they are making me deaf. But this is the time for us to come together, and they are trying to blame each other. We aren't friends. I always thought that there are a bond that tied all of our hearts together as we explore the galaxy. It hurts to even exist right now, and a pillar of strength crumbles underneath me. The music in my ears beating even louder, the drums of this hatred beating out all sense of hope from my mind. That's what the point of going uh, on it seems to cry out. Why not just give in now? Maybe being sacrificed here to a wolf god isn't such a bad thing. No more pain, no more pain alone, and no more anything. I can just curl up and finally take a nap I've always wanted. I just have to give in. Come here, Monfo, please! I need your help! A voice I haven't heard for years below out from within. You maggots are going to the future to be the future of my beloved force. A thousand different species from a million different worlds, all dirty ones, but all cottages. Go for it, carry the banner with pride. Don't make me red, letting you out to carry on the legacy of the space sector. Even a screaming me inside my head with no joy around to prompt him. My ears stink. Major Brownford would be so disappointed in me if you saw a candle he ran just covering here. You would be upset as well. We are all still cut Johns. Even though even if they weren't my friends, their bond is nothing that an argument should break. My tail starts to slowly walk once more. Surely I learned that I wasn't the best person to command people, but I'm still a captain. It's meant to find a way to put the friends aside and complete the mission. It's my duty, no matter pay, no matter the hurt inside my heart. I can't give up yet. Fame and flow still has a little more life in her. My dad, my friends, I have to keep them. I keep strong for them. Uh, where do the grams go? Uh, now they are back streaming at full volume without the weird drums again. What's going on here? I wonder why we're 
They were playing drums in the first place. Drums? Captain? Eh? Uh, yeah, with the boom, 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 it will start to make me real, feel really, well, weird about me. I didn't hear anything. Maybe it was just me picking up something far away with my hearing, but it sounded really close. I'll keep on the lookout for drums, madam. But could you please help them, please? I don't know what to do. I'll do my best. Thank you, madam. Be strong, Faye. But who else think about the consequences of your actions? This is treason. Treason? Treason? I'm a princess now, Natalie! She's a major. I don't care more. I'm princess like highly, and you all have to accept that. <laughs> and you need to accept your reality, stupid brat. <laughs> you should take your own advice. Tonight you are going to be sacrificed to the great wolf god, and I'll arise as the one true princess. Alright. That's face dead! Don't mock the wolf god! I know what to do. Kylie doesn't want to listen to us anymore. I've never heard anyone who just ignored us so trophy. She's freaking stupid. You know what? I don't feel any better anymore for her. Except for Yoi. Yoi would just do whatever she wants to find and find a way to convince us to follow her lead. Ow. Okay. Kika always said Yoi was a terrible influence, but she got what she wanted anyway. What would Yoi do when someone was disrespecting her? Kick someone's ass? I will show you all the might of the new kid. Ah, why'd you bump me? <laughs> she definitely bobbed them on the head. Because I care about you? Uh, Why would you hurt someone you care about? I'm princess! I should have you executed for this! How about you get yourself executed for this? Seriously! The worst kind of princess possible. Because some of this pain now makes you take a lot less pain later. We all want the best for you because you're important to us. Uh, I'm not important to you all! Why would you put me through this if he cared? Because Saul doesn't want you going down a bad path. He has to be tough, so bounce back stronger than ever. My hand goes to chest, feeling Saul beating of a gun underneath it. I know it hurts, Kai, but if we all didn't care about you, we wouldn't keep trying to help you. We would have just turned our backs on you. You would care? We do. I may have let my exertion anger take advantage of me, but I really would want you to be successful. Yeah! You're still my friend. Always? Yeah, my head, I'm so easy. Did they poop you to car? Eh, hi. That is enough, young one. Do not listen to the eyes of the Tempress and sway you from the path. That voice. Yeah, uh, sorry. Continue with the high shaman's preparations. Do not allow yourself to be further corrupted, lest you lose. You lose your place. Okay, that's suspicious. Hmm. All right, never mind. Seems like my dogs changed locations somehow, and I did not notice where he went to. Okay. Of course, yes, sir. The trusty D boys, the way he always incorrectly says Shrek instead of Skah. I found him. He strides in with more aggression than I've ever seen him before. Gone is the call. Galicky stops as he takes in everything around him. I can see how they might mistake him for someone more powerful than his usual dopey smile would show. <sighs> hey, if I hadn't seen what the freaking we're wearing, I might even think he was trying to do the wild man play like the he did when I was just a tiny pup. Dad! I wouldn't have believed if it had, I had seen it with my own eyes. I do have to be lied, this isn't the first time we've gotten standard before. I thought you'd be fighting, Faye. His so blue eyes, the same bright blue I was so lucky to her look. Me. Over, Christy, it's been far too long since we last met. It must be strange for so strange for him to see this little pup all grown man wearing a uniform. I'm so happy for you, Faye. I want to snap back at this 
It's her fault that my father was enslaved and discarded on this planet, but I'm too happy right now to let the sort of bitterness into my head, into my no, head, mind, yeah, the same thing. My father's safety is more important than spite. All of the heard of pushing, pushing my heart farther than the doctor said I should go. This hour's waking torment to keep my survive and all of danger with cave. It was worth it. I got my father back. <laughs> Such a pathetic attempt. Huh? The princess was weak to think you were nothing more than an imposter. You, my daughter? Preposterous! You're nothing more than a false idol, idol sent here to rob and mislead you if you were demonic friends. Dad, what are you saying? You are not my daughter. But look at me, it's with a... All is before me is a pale mockery. Captain, Rasmurfo seems to have some memory problems. He really does think he's a... You're my father, don't get me! Don't you recognize me, you fucking asshole! <gasps> what is there to recognize? Don't you remember who used to joke my tail? Was the desert duster when we went to go to start those walking party? Kaksari! I walked back in the tent and all the sound my tail picked up made with the sandbox. But when I went to the library in Ofasca and you lost me for five hours because I made a little book for to hide in, you can't have forgotten. I lost my mom years ago. I don't lose my rest of my family. Mother? Father? A monstrosity against nature like yourself had no such things! You were a twisted sir creature bred by the devil! Okay, I'm gonna kick his ass. Your very existence is profane. That's not true! Accept it! Accept it, you're nothing more than an image of me! I'm an image of you? You're my father! I spent all my life trying to be like you! I just want you to be proud of me! You bastard! Father. I'm sorry! He's proud of you, Faye. You know that. Dad, why can't you see me? Why can't you remember who I am? I'm so tired, so light -headed. My heart hurts with every beat and demands I rest. Paid. Every moment of fear stops an iron dagger of agony into my island core. I can't give in to the pain. I have to fight on. He has to see. Captain, you're panting. Dad, don't you remember? You need to come down. Lay down before you push yourself far. But he has to see me. Please let him see me! I can see that the deceiving don't go in front of me. Okay, I want to kick his ass. Seriously. I don't mean that. Uh, Captain, please stop before you hurt so yourself! Hurt? Can hurt more than this? My body feels like someone plopped a great big grizzly bear on my chest, bear on my chest, but some things are important. Some things are worth fighting through the pain for. Uh, it's okay, Captain, for, just focus on deep breaths. I have to keep trying for. But I can't fight against the crushing pain in my chest. I promised Sol that if this ever happened, I would rest before I stepped over that unrecoverable line. Tears have joined the rest of the misery and agony consuming me. If I don't think of a way to make him remember, I'm going to lose my blood. If I don't try to calm down before my heart is out, my dad is going to lose his daughter. I love you. Even if you don't remember how much I do, even if you think of me as a fake, I'll never stop trying to save you. I lost mom, I'm going to lose you as long as you... I have life left. Ah! It's okay, Faye. We're here. My well, lot of the woods you are needing the purification ball. Of course, I shall head right there. Eh? Yeah. Dad? If not because you are a person one. Don't forget me, please. Come on. I feel hand patting on me on the back. Someone trying to reassure me after having my coral pit believe in my family only being there shattered into a thousand micro pieces. Thanks. You gotta keep it off, babe. It's not hard. It will be easier with some rest. Why don't you all take it up while we wait for them to get back? Staging the break for freedom is going to be impossible in our current shape. A smart idea. We should set up a watch to ensure we aren't ambushed. Sergeant, I can tell you want to hold here, but you look like you're about to kneel over any second. Is it that obvious? Very. You've been up and fighting for a day straight. I'm amazed you are still thinking clearly. There will be something enough and it will be second nature to you as well. Nature, I'm doing myself as guard. Are you fit enough to assume duty? Yeah, madam. I assumed to rest last night in a camp before being caught in a trap by local Sultan. Where is Kika? She's fine, isn't she? I hope so. She must escape with friend into the forest. Friend? He's a friend I made in the forest. Friend's going to care good care of her. I know it. And Kika's going to care 
take good care of us. Everyone get some rest now because it is only a matter of time before Kika kicks down the door to rescue us. Yeah! Now these words do calm me down for. The crushing pain in my chest hasn't subsided much. Every time I think about my dad, my fears begin to bubble. My heart begins to race, and the pain comes back like a cool barrage from a steam drill from Hortlone 12. Everyone tries to find a comfortable vibe there to curl up in. There is a bed there! The other drifts off to sleep almost instantly, but for the first time in my life. My thoughts are refusing to let me sleep in a peaceful slumber. I hate that stupid music they are playing out there that makes me feel so terrible. It's faint, but each beat is still dredging up terrible thoughts into my sleepy mind. My father has forgotten who he is and hates me. My best friend is lost somewhere in the middle of the jungle with someone named Rain. My body doesn't have the strength to carry on much further and time forced to rest in the same room as my dad's slave master. I guess this is my punishment for defying Dr. Eve. She told me that I was doomed to have problems if I returned to active duty without the surgery. I wish she would have been more specific with what types of problems for. Scooting back and forth, I can seem to find somewhere that allows me to hide from all my thoughts. There has to be a place where I can blend nature once more. Eric has been staring at me for a while now, and it is creeping me out a little. She is rarely being asked me with those weird golden ice cars. What's wrong, Eh? Uh... Yeah, nothing. Then why are you staring at me? You aren't thinking about how you're going to sleep in next half quiz game, are you? What? I don't care what surprise my fluffy tail fetches on the black market. It is mine, mine long. It is really a beautiful tail, I wish I had one as majestic. You are planning on harvesting it? No! I can see this right now. I don't even know what I'm looking at. A free lupid. Not really free, I guess. I'm kind of trapped in this little prison, but... It's not like that, I meant that I turned off my implants so I can't see anything, surrounded in darkness once more. I scratched my ears as I pondered her problem, glad for something to help me off of my own. Don't you want to be able to see? Vision is my third favorite sense after hearing and touch. <laughs> Sight is my favorite, being able to see such vibr vibrancy and life in the stars after being lost in the void is what keeps what little hope I have of left alive in my heart. But sight is the tool. One that is used against me. Uh, of course, I so not all predators rely on smell and sound to try their prey. Prey. But you're easy prey if you can see the predators coming. You should turn your eyes back on before you get turned into prey yourself. I've always been prey. It is just the predators that change. You know that most ocular implants nowadays have a small generator that powers itself from the heat generated by your own body? It's really neat, but I bet they are really expensive. Dr. Eve said that replacing the repeat heart would cost nearly double my yearly salary since our hearts are so complicated. I told her that it was so expensive since no repeat would ever want to give up the core of their soul, so the company would ever waste money on making them. Even if it hurts, I like being Faye Moonfollow, I'll never give up my heart and replace it with fake. This repeat will be Faye Moonfollow until she dies, even if that day isn't too far off. Now they're very inexpensive. Come on, do. Mine, however, are a much, much older model that require me to charge them up every few days. Sooner, if I use their night vision setting like I did last night, the charge left is almost gone. Then why not buy one that's newer? I'm sure if you can afford to fly around enslaving Lupid researchers, you could afford more helpful eyes. Because I'm pray, eh? I don't remember my parents. Miss Sirak said she had found me sitting between two dumpsters, being in alley on Queen. For the longest time, I was referred to as a trash baby. Why do your parents leave you there? Seems like an odd place to forget your pup. They didn't forget me. Unlike little parents, sometimes human parents decide they can't take care of their pups anymore. But families are supposed to stick together until the end. At least you got found and taken in by somebody. Being one of Miss Sirkik's Sirkik, Sir, kids was a challenge. If you wanted to eat, you had to work. If you couldn't work, the buildings would be worse. You wouldn't get to eat and... And we lived on a spaceship and we'll go from planet to planet while we miss Sirak and the other full members of the Labyrinth Cartel would check on their business S yes, and rounds comes. There was only so much room on the ship, so we would have to go live in a normal orphanage. I tried to force myself to be interesting, but I know what the cartel does. I know what she is and what she does. If you were pretty you would work in one of their brothels to earn your freedom. 
If you couldn't raise the money there or didn't have skill they could use in their empire, you would be made a slave and sold to one of their own in labor camps. Okay, I want to hunt them down. Most of the young ones would beg to raise the marks required. Begging was the one thing I could do since I couldn't see people to pick pocket and I wasn't strong enough to be a duck or monger. I'm sorry. I always managed to scrape by above the threshold but never enough to make life easy. I went to sleep without a meal in my belly many nights. No, you subjugated innocent people. You stole their food and forced them to make the drugs that you used to bring down civilization. When I was 16 they told me that I was making enough. Mr. Rock told me that I was too tall and lucky to be any good to her in the brothels, too weak and untrained to be useful. I was given one month to raise 100,000 rappel to buy an initial trunk in or they were going to le go let you live on the streets again. Nobody ever escaped, they either earn a place with a cartel, become a slave for them, or really dispose for, for good. Death. People wouldn't kill them because they have no use for them. You're so insane, Faye. He always used to tell me that it was your cutest feature. 100,000 rappel is about 400,000 Kalajan dollars. How'd you manage it? Both of us jump at the sudden voice of our watchman. Another dagger of pain stabs into my chest as they show up, but this one doesn't cause the pressure on my heart to get any worse. I did it. It was the last day of the year with the fair stone falling on the ground. The moon was cutting through my rack clothes like a torrent of swords. I thought, what? I thought that maybe I had been more lucky, unable to see anything. If I had to die there, at least I could die now in the darkness. Born darkness, dying in the darkness. Mr. Egg brought me back to the ship. It was one of the only times I can even ever remember her being cheerful. She told me I was going to get a little surprise that day. How cruel. All I could remember was feeling a prick in my right arm and then I fell once more into the unforgiving boy that was my life. You died? Captain, if she died, wouldn't she be dead right now? Unless she was a ghost. You're afraid a girl sent to help guide me back to my father about home for your crimes in life. Why did you say that? Hey, I didn't die. Madam, I think she's in denial. Perhaps she became ghost because she couldn't accept the things she did in life. I stand up to my one day from causing a dust storm. I might hate you for what you've done to my dad, but trying to make amends in the first step towards earning my forgiveness. I want your forgiveness, but I swear I didn't die. I was brought in for surgery to replace my eyes. Oh. That is it. I was destined to die without ever seeing the light, but divine fame shone through. A project cutter had the wrong start of taking care of himself when he was on the road, so he said that he would pay my debt and turn me into his servant. I'll never forget the moment I woke up and the implants were turned on. The light was so blinding, all the cars jumped out of the building. I couldn't make sense of it. The man's voice told me, Wakey wakey sleepy head. Wakey wakey sleepy head. Your father might have been my new boss, but many of the old bosses didn't like that I had escaped so easily. My plans were all to control me easier. If I wasn't moving fast enough, bowing my head low enough, or if they were drunk and thought it would be fun. If my father ever do that to you? I don't think he could, even if he was forced to do it. Most of the time he was too lo lost in thought or sleeping to pay me any attention. All those times when you said you had to go on the expedition without me, all those special studies that you had to do for the institute, I realized we were really out there with this slave labor, this girl befalling the sciences, you told me? Families are supposed to be a tightly waved drug. You always told me about our heritage. That would be it, stuck together no matter what. No matter what. Mom left us big clothes. She said she didn't want to be part of our life anymore. I always thought it was because she was tired of traveling, but Ari is telling me that was also a lie. She's lying? Did Dad ever talk about me? You were his second favorite topic behind his work. I heard the story about how you brought home a pack of baby rapor raptors at least a dozen times. He tried to act annoyed when he told it, but the joy in his, in his voice and his lips pops knack with animals was undeniable. They were really cute. I just said what they like was all that they were predator animals. Uh, he also had a picture of you and him together on some beach with a giant whale in the background. Oh, that was when we went whale watching on Earth. We ended up getting lost for three days at sea and the giant orca whale was how we managed to find our way home. Faye, if there's one thing you know, it is that your father loved you all beyond all else. Even if he lost his, mem his memory and his acting strange now, and that deep down his love for you still burns bright. Lord Moonfollow saved my life. 
I owe him so much, he may have been my master in the labyrinth carnival, but he always treated me like a daughter. That's why I need to get back that case if I get both of them back. Faith, I came to you not because you were a Kardashian officer. I thought who could help me. I came to you. I kind of thought of you as my sister. Whoa. Your sister? I'm not one for it, are ya? Eh? You want that case and my dad back because you are going to get punched if you don't come back with them. You said to yourself. You know, protect my family first and foremost, so you use it as a weapon to get what you needed. Would you really do that? No, I just prayed it. I might be naive and believe the best in people too much. But I'm always going to protect my family. That does include slavers who plague the gods with their evils. I'm sorry. Why do you ever... Why do you ever have to take away my father? I can't accept this. I can't, no. Please don't let this be true. But she's right. I could I deny. Could I deny her? Could I turn my back on what I stood for? Why would she lie to me at this point? What is there to gain? She really got my aid and Natalie is going to punish her. My sister, I guess that means my dad really sold his science out. You mean it? I haven't lied to you. I don't want to lie anymore. Please protect those that are very family. Bloods or not? If my father took you in, I guess that means you are the sister I never had knew I had. Hey? Eh? And that means my father really is an evil man. All those years of study plans for the sake of making the galaxy a better place were really just for his own greed and avarice. I'm sorry. He never wanted you to know. Why? Why are ya? Everything he did was for the love of his work. Dr. Moonfollow always told me that he never wanted to risk exposing you to the rest of the life he had delved into. You don't want to risk putting me through the pains my other sister went through? I wonder what this. Oh. I always wanted to meet you, but I understood why he startled you so much. I wrapped the scars on her hands. I was so nervous, but I was already stealing enough happiness from your father that I didn't want to risk hurting one he really loved. Okay, this is too much to take in. <laughs> and why won't they stop playing those stupid drums? All they do is conjure up more confusion and pain! Drums? What are you talking about, Captain? They haven't played a single musical instrument all day! You can't hear them! I know my hearing is the best, but I haven't heard a single drum since we got here. No music of any kind. If I hear him talking, I'm not so much for trying to sleep more than 30 minutes. It's just okay to me and I will start to lose my mind as well as my heart. We still manage to see the strength what makes our fae won't follow from the inside. Okay, I'm a little happy to have something new to study, but the stakes are too high in this subject. Brani walks over from her post to take a look at the girl. Maybe you should lie down, you've had a rough couple days. I need you to stay awake for just longer. Major, please forgive me for waking you up. I'm glad I woke up. Thank you for your forgiveness, madam. I was having a dream. It was one of my draw ones about an awesome RPG called Trinity Wars We. I know you've all played it, so I won't bother complaining what explaining what the dream was about. No madam. I've never really played games. Same, was there a book version? Tough crowd. Well, the dream itself is embarrassing now that I'm not going to describe it, so let's just say that it reminded me about a really cool part from the game. Hey, hey, you just said that you've been uh, hearing drums and they've been making you feel bad, right? Yeah, I remember making the thing how you all weren't really my friends anymore and how. No, no, to, no need to go any further. Turn towards we. Has a part midway through when you realize that for the entire first half of the game you were living in a virtual reality, everything you know is a lie. Are you saying this is a virtual reality computer and simulation? Nah, I think maybe I like the previous terminated major for you. No, I meant more than I've been working this thing stream for the last couple of months on a completely faulty assumption. If I knew Tori was here, if she could tell me what kind of thing she got from this place, I'd finally link the last piece of puzzle together. Like, if she could feel the hand of evil in the air on her wings, that tingling sense of doom and anger hovering over her? Exactly! Can you do it as well? <laughs> Flights are brand the fate of the galaxy might be in the balance. If this trick holds an amount of truth, I need to know. 
Yeah, madam, I have heard something like that coming from the west. For the sensory could make out more about it than I could. Right where the wing, Chris or Nightmare lives. What does that mean, Natalie? I've been working on the assumption that I've been paired off against a royalty agent who has been hunting this crystal for research in a weapon to end all space travel in covered on space. It may say to me, find out what the researchers had discovered, attack them at the first sight, chase them to the second sight, and then finish them off in deep space. A workable theory and doubt I was expecting to see, but I think I let my prejudices against the Empire blind me to a different possibility. Fate. Did you hear those drums when we were in close proximity to that weird griffin creature we found in the temple? Kind of. I felt like all I wanted to do was just give in and let the creature eat me. But you all put me forward. Exactly what I figured and exactly what I didn't want to hear. Kali and Woody are acting abnormally, considering themselves to be part of an ancient tribe that seems to worship this creature. Fake can feel its effects on her and Granny can detect the presence. But you and I aren't affected. No, only the virus born are suspe susceptible, something like that, to whatever the thing is doing. While we don't have any dense control at the moment, there's no one other common factor that you share with all of them that would make you a suspe susceptible. <laughs> I don't like words like that. The two things that everyone affect shares in common are that they are very virus born and that. They all are suffering from something that would lo lower their mental guard. Ulrich with his crush, Kylie with her hearing, Faye with her health, and you with your problems. I think the researchers were attacked by a similar creature on that planet. What few were able to resist? Its effects on the mind were killed. Then the second side, they were drafting weapons. May have been rotting weapons, but they may have been developed Deployed by those under the influence. Maybe they weren't routing weapons, but their routing developed their toxins after what they've discovered from encounters with similar creatures. I think one of the researchers was able to break free, just like they, and fled with the creature into deep space. It was there that someone must have beaten us to them and recaptured it after a battle. What we recovered might have just been a piece of the being. Does that mean there are a bunch of these things out there? Where does the power of billion crystals come from? What are these creatures and where did they originate? I've seen Chazari ruins in those ruins and indicators of a great war. Could it be? But where do those smart cats that hunted us come into play? Are they just a bunch of intelligent cats? Where they range? Yeah, don't tell me you were attacked by them as well. Of course not, they just ran his friends. Friend? And his friend? Major Tenzin said they were Shalakan and that it was some sort of spirit creature. Another reference to spirits from a source that shouldn't be connected to another. There is too much information hidden in the past that I can barely see past my scrapping the top layer. One thing is certain. Whatever the spirits of the Chasari are, they are still hunting us to this day. Our billion crystals, the dark crystals, all the virus born. I'm starting to suspect that human and his past is a bit different than my history books have led me to believe. But the most frightening Think of all is that the spirit seems to be having an effect on people. The little piece of one didn't do much, but if someone had a live version. Could that be why they sent Ulrich Moonfollow, a scientist in both Xenobology and Xenobotany, here to find one? The sheep fell prey to the unknown effects of the crystal bot. Are you okay, Natalie? Whatever this means for the future of the galaxy, I'll figure it out later. Right now, this current truth behind what these crystals can do doesn't matter if we can't at all. I think they are planning on sacrificing us for. I got that impression as well, the stamped one, we're not going to give them the satisfaction of eating us without a fight. And to get back to command, if there's a possibility that people aren't being influenced by a third party they might already have started, we could already be in danger! More danger than I am at the moment anyway. Let's end the episode, that's the danger we are right now, the end of the episode, but this will actually happen. So yeah, tomorrow we'll continue, and we'll be with Hendrix, his lady soul, and Kika. Yeah. Bye-bye.